Hello, thank you 12 you parent that volunteered or got volunteered to handle the cameras for the remainder of the spring season. Um, I'm Ryan I'm with the 11U team. I uh, run the cameras for the 11U and I do all the video work for the whole program. Um, this video is going to show you um, what the which cameras you got, everything I'm giving to you, and how it all works. All right, so we'll start with the uh, three GoPro. They are seven uh, GoPro Hero Seven Black cameras. You got three. This is you're looking at the camera side of them. You can see one of them is labeled for home plate. The reason for that is because it has different settings than the other two cameras. Um, the back display record button is on top um, and the battery compartment and where the SD card is on bottom. To open, press this button and slide, pops open. Um, to put a battery in, actually we're going to do the card first because the card doesn't fit as well with the battery already in. Alright, so the, car the card. Color side um, goes towards the middle of the camera. The card goes in this little slot here. Push it down, clicks in. All right. To get it out, push on it, and pops up, and then you can pull it out. All right, so camera in. Battery can only fit one way. Battery has this neat little pull tab on it. Um, I will tell you right now that when you play in the middle of the afternoon and you go to do a battery change, these may pull out on you. I will show you a workaround on that when we get there. Um, the battery will only go in one way. If you look inside the camera, you can see the little prongs. It only fits that way. It won't close. It won't close if you put it in wrong. Okay. To turn on the camera, button is on the right side if you're looking at the display. Press it, three beeps, and you get the display. The settings will come up. For the two outfield cameras, we want that letter on the side to say W. Everything else doesn't need to be adjusted. On the home plate camera, that will say L. Alright. I'm going to turn that off so we don't kill the bat, don't waste battery. Alright. For the outfield cameras, we have these tripods that are made so that they can wrap around things. Alright, so imagine my wrist is a fence post. That's what we do there. Just wrap it around, secure it so that it won't fall over on its own. To put the camera in, see Texas dogs, we pull that part up and then it flips over. This part opens camera goes in and pushes all the way forward and then closes snaps it in this is not the camera that I put the battery in though so I can't turn it on from here all right to tighten it or to aim it you loosen this and then you can move this in any direction that's how you aim it for aiming the side cameras I like to catch the picture just in the side of the view with the rest of it looking mostly at the outfield. Um, we use these cameras for the side views on the film reviews um, for plays that do not happen directly in line with the home plate camera. That's pretty much the only thing this footage gets used for. Um, <clears throat> now aiming this can be a little difficult because the screen is not very bright. And with no action going on in the field, you really can't see what's going on. So my suggestion is, when you're trying to line up the pitcher's mound, pick something big that's in line with the pitcher's mound, tree, building, something like that, and try and set the view using that. Um, that took me a little while to figure out. Okay, so you got that. You have two of those. So two outfield cameras, two um, tripods for the outfield cameras. I'm going to take this back out because I will set up the cameras so that they have the card already in them, but they will not have a battery. Each card will record two games, okay? Um, each battery lasts about one hour. 
So in the middle of the game, basically what I do is I set up the camera so that when the plate meeting breaks, um, we're on the clock. That's when I start the start a timer for 50 minutes. When the timer goes off, I e either go at the next pitching change or inning change to change all the batteries. All right, what's next? Um, here's the home plate bracket. It works the same as far as putting the camera in and out as the outfield bracket that there. I'm going to get to where I have a fence so that I can show you how to set this up and aim it. Um, so that'll be, a, that'll be a separate part of this video at the end. Um, in terms of batteries, the batteries, like I said, will last about an hour. You have 12 of them, so you have enough to do two games without having to charge batteries. Um, the battery chargers are here. You have two of them. I've got this one currently plugged in so that I can show you that when they are charging, you can see this extremely faint green light right here. When it's charged, it's green. When it's charging, it's red. Um, they usually have, an empty battery usually takes about an hour to two to fill. Um, if they're completely drained and you got all six plugged in at once, it usually takes a little bit longer. Basically, this is an overnight job after you're done playing. But if you get into a tournament where on Sunday you win the first game and you look like you're winning the second one, you got to start charging batteries to get ready for the third. Um, okay, so other things that you have. You have this little bag, which we use for separating used batteries from new batteries. This camera bag for the cameras and for all the batteries. You have three extra SD uh, you have three extra SD cards. They all are 128 gig. So there, you have three extra, they're all 128 gig cards so you can fit two games on each card. Um, I am gonna, in, in the case of you guys playing a third game on a Sunday, it's best if we can get together on Saturday and you can give me your cards and I can give them back to you so I can clean them off and give them back to you. If we can't arrange that, then I will keep an eye on your schedule and your game changer and try and get to you so that I can give you clean cards if you need them. Um, we haven't run into that yet. Hopefully we do soon. Um, what else do we got? You got the, you got two of the chargers. You also got the charger cord. You know, just a basic USB cord with two with two cords, so you can plug both chargers in at the same time um, in the one plug. And I gave you an adapter in case you want to look at any of the videos at night. All I ask is that you please don't erase anything. Um, and then I gave you this big Northrop Grumman bag from a job that I had 14 years ago. Um, that's basically it. I guess I'll show you how everything goes in the bag. Um, first thing we usually put in is the home plate. Um, the home plate mount, followed by the tripods. And then I'm not going to load up the camera bag, but if you close up the camera bag and it's loaded up, it fits on top. Um, other, other notes that you're going to need... Um, I'll step over here so you can see me. When you are in afternoon games, particularly, um, and the temperature's like over 90, 95, the cameras get hot. You need to bring a cooler with ice and rags. The, bad, the um, cameras are waterproof. So I will keep a cooler with ice and rags and when it's a hot game, in between innings, you have to do it. Otherwise, the cameras will cut out and they won't record. One more thing I'm going to make for you is a sunshade, which I don't have inside right now, but um, I'll explain that how, how to put that up um, when I give it to you. Um, sun is definitely the enemy of these camera cameras. The, the cameras do not behave well in heat and sun. Um, for tomorrow, because you're playing at 8 and 10, my suggestion is that you take the cameras out of the cases between games if there's time and cool them off 
um, take the batteries out, just let them sit without a battery. Um, if you don't have time, at least put a rag on top of them. Um, you will need to change the batteries out in between games. You need to change the batteries out at the 50 minute mark during games and then in between games. So you need two batteries for every game. Um, that's basically it. I will give you my phone number as well. So if you have any questions about anything and so that we can coordinate getting the cards together so I can uh, get the data off and give you the cards back so we can keep you guys moving. Um, that's pretty much the only thing you're gonna have to give me on a week to week basis is the cards so that I can clean them off. The rest of the camera stuff you hold on to until we're, until we're uh, done with the season. Um, all right, so now I'm going to take one of the cameras and go to where there's a fence so I can show you how to install the home plate bracket, so. All right, I got the, uh, got the camera bracket for the home plate here. We got six of these adjustment knobs to open it. Just open and pull these hooks to the fence, okay? Do all four the same way. Just to open them and get them out before you go to the fence. All right. Go to the fence. Now, the way the fences are constructed, the way the fences are constructed, you know you're going to have to uh, probably aim them all in one direction because of the uh, way the fence is laid out. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to catch them and you'll throw the angle of the camera off. On netting, you can just do straight X. You know, you can go out wide both directions. Put it up. Put it up and tighten it up. Make sure all four are caught. If any of them are off, it gets hit, hit by a foul ball. It's going to fly off the fence. And then you got to re readjust it while the game's going on. Um, all right, you can, if you look at the bracket there, it's not exactly the straightest thing in the world as far as how I got it set up on there. But that doesn't matter because the adjustment of how the, what the camera looks at is in these knobs right here. All right, so you can see right now I've kind of got it. I'm going to turn it on so you can see. I got it aimed more or less right at a pole, okay? So, in order to adjust that, I'm gonna loosen both these up and slide the camera sideways and up. All right, so that now I have nothing in the view and I'm gonna lock it down. All right, lock it down now. On most fields that we play on, the um, home plate is a little bit pushed out from the backstop like it should be. Um, so we want to push the camera so that we're getting not a whole lot of sky. We want to see field. We don't want to see sky. Okay. So this, this adjustment here, which unless you've got a socket, which I will give you so that you can tighten this down, you really can't tighten it down too much. So this is going to shake around. So if a ball hits the bracket, keep, keep an eye on it because it could get flopped like that. And then we're looking at the sky. All right, so we got to be able to push that back up. If we push it back up, and uh, I'm just going to get this recording so it stays on. Um, actually, recording, this is, I'm kind of glad I did that because it reminded me of something. Um, if for some reason, when you're turning it on, off or on, the power button, if you don't press it long enough, it's going to change modes on you. Okay? okay? So, if you hit the power button over on the side here, it's going to change modes from video to camera to time lapse video is what we want if you're ever in doubt press the screen and look press the screen and look at the top right there i'm gonna put my finger in front so you can see it you see the camera there that's what we're looking for if we hit the power button over here and it changes that part will change up top there you see now it's a camera so take a look at that before you hit the record button because if it's in camera mode and you press the record button, all you've done is take a picture. That's it, single, single still shot. We've had this happen before where we missed like half a game because we thought the camera was running and it wasn't. Um, 
time lapse will actually fool you a little bit more though because when you hit the when you hit the uh, record button here it takes a picture every half a second so it looks like it's it looks like it's running but it's not because you see this timer up top here it's not moving if it's not moving you're in time lapse not in uh, not in video okay so it is it just took a series of pictures a half a second apart while I was doing that so let's get it back to video all right we got it in video mode I'll hit record and you see that it starts counting that is what you're looking for if it's counting like that then you're good um, if on a hot day like I said it might stop recording what you're looking for is this red light over here if this red light o over here is flashing which I'm not sure you can actually see it yeah you can it's on off on off if that's on you're good if that's off the camera stopped if you need to check because this will eventually go black um, if you need to check a camera for any reason after it's gone black all you have to do is touch the screen it won't stop recording it won't you can't adjust anything once it's recording either um, Okay, so if you walk up, you'll see the red light is blinking still. So I know the camera is running, but I want to check it. I just touched the middle of the screen. It wakes up, and I see the red dot and the timer running, so it's still recording. All right, I'm going to turn that off now. All right, battery change. I'm going to back this up a little bit. No, no, I'm not, because I can reach it. You just kind of pull it down to you. Put your finger on top there. Wedge it up. Pull it back, pull the camera out. Pull the camera out and then do your thing with the can with the uh, battery. Button, battery, etc. Okay? Um, I think that covers, oh wait, no, it doesn't cover everything. I did bring the shade thing out so I could show you that. So I'm gonna put this back up. You are going to need a, uh, you're gonna need a step ladder. Um, if you oh one more thing if you need to adjust the aim on the camera Like side to side, but the view is straight you're good But if you need to change the angle that the camera is going just loosen this up and twist it You shouldn't really need to do that too much. It's pretty much only for like um, Fields where you can't get pretty much behind home plate now in terms of setup we like to set up over the right hand batter's box Okay, that way we can see some of home plate. If you set up directly behind home plate, you can't see home plate unless you get really, really high. Um, so that uh, that's how you set up this bracket. I, if I was having this in a game, you could see that bar. I would get that bar out of there by adjusting the uh, by adjusting the um, position of the camera with the. Uh, with this bar. All right, now I'm gonna show you the shade that I've, I have constructed. I gotta back this up so I can show you this. All right, here is the shade. Turn this so I can see. Okay, shade consists of two carabiners that are attached directly to the board and two carabiners that are attached to strings. The two that are attached to directly to the board, the sun's pointing towards the camera, forget this thing because it won't work, it won't do anything for you. All right, so, you're going to need a, you're going to need a step ladder because we want the camera up as high as you can, as high as you can comfortably reach, and then you need the stretch to get this thing. Start by, put, start by placing the two that go directly on the fence as close to the camera as you can get. All right? Right on top of the camera, that's perfectly fine. Then grab the string ones and go up and catch the catch the fence as high as you can as high as you can comfortably reach because you got to be able to get it down. Okay. At this point, you can hand, you can uh, still get to the camera for battery change, and the camera is not getting beat up by the sun, so the home plate camera should be good with this setup unless it's extremely hot, like. 98 to 100 degrees outside um, all right I think that sets everything up so um, again I'm gonna give you my phone number and uh, all my information so you can get in touch with me if you got any questions all right thanks a lot I really appreciate you guys doing this